Good morning. My name is Reagan, and I am an eighth grade student at St. Michael's and student council vice president. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Today's saint is Elizabeth Ann Seton. Mother Seton is one of the keystones of the American Catholic Church. She founded the first American religious community for women, the Sisters of Charity. She opened the first American parish school and established the first American Catholic orphanages. All of this she did in a span of 46 years while raising her five children. She died January 4, 1821. In 1963, she became the first American-born citizen and then canonized in 1975. She was buried in Emmitsburg, Maryland. St. Elizabeth Ann Seton is the patron saint of Catholic schools and loss of parents. St. Elizabeth Seton, pray for us. This week, we continue our Epiphany celebration by hearing more about the Epiphanies in the Bible. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. But there will be no gloom for those who were in anguish. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who live in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The Zeldas of the Lord of hosts will do this. The Word of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. How is Jesus like a wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Please join me in reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. For our protection, and especially for our military and police forces, let us now pray the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. St. Teresa of Calcutta, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America, land that I love, stand beside her. the lights from above, from the mountains to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my
Today's birthday is Logan on South Campus. Happy birthday. On this day in history in 1958, the Soviet satellite Sputnik fell to the Earth from its orbit. The craft had been launched on October 4, 1957. The quote of the day is by Wolfgang and Medeus Mozart. The music is not in the notes, but in the silence between. Have a marvelous Monday. This is Amelia. Go Crusaders.